Welcome to an art demonstration brought to you by Sakura of America. Today we're drawing a chibi character, which is a frozen yogurt cup. My name is Feng Mai, and I'm the lead artist of PMBQ Studios. Let's get started! Step 1 is sketching. I'll be using the XS12 mechanical pencil. A little background about chibi characters while I sketch. Chibi is a Japanese word that literally translates into small. A chibi character is usually something or someone small and cute. In Japanese culture, it's very common to take everyday objects, reduce them into simple shapes with simple facial features, and create fun and cute characters out of them. I was inspired to draw a frozen yogurt cup because of the season I'm in, which is summer. It's hot outside, so what better treat to cool off with than Froyo? So in designing the Froyo character, I thought about what you typically see at the store. There are big cups, and then you can pile on the frozen yogurt really high, and finally top it off with candy or fruit toppings. And since that is all really fun and exciting, what better expression to give the Froyo cup than that of joy? So he's smiling. Step two is inking. I'll be using the Pigma Professional Brush BB, the Pigma Sensei 10, and the Pigma Sensei 06. I'm starting with the Pigma Professional Brush BB with the bold tip. This is a great art tool because you get a lot of expression and bang for your buck. When you press down with strong pressure, you create bold lines, and when you use less pressure, the lines become thinner. I recommend always keeping your hand relaxed and practicing on scratch paper first to get comfortable with using a brush pen. The inking style that I'm going for is a little bit loose and lively. You'll notice that my lines are bold, expressive, but not necessarily perfectly straight. This is just my preference, as I want to keep it a little bit sketchy. For the details of the fruit toppings, I switched to the Pigma Sensei 06 pen for a consistent medium line width. I'm also using this to add in small details like the ice sparkles and sprinkles. These are all easier to draw in with the Pigma Sensei pen rather than the brush, since I don't have to worry so much about controlling the pressure on the pen tip. For the face, I'm using the Pigma Sensei 10 pen, which has an even bolder consistent line than the 06. All the pens I've used have a waterproof and archival ink formula, which is great for both beginners and professionals. And when your inks are done, wait at least 5 minutes for it to dry, and then you can erase away all your lines to make it a clean drawing. Step 3 is color. For this step, I'll be using the Koi coloring brush pens in a variety of different colors. I mentioned in the inking section that I wanted to keep a sketchy look to the Froyo drawing. I'm going to continue with that style as I color. So I've started with a light sky blue brush pen, and I'm just going to go around the edges of the Froyo to create the idea of shadows, and also to create some depth and dimension. I'll also touch up on some of the eye sparkles, and do the same thing in just fleshing out the rest of the character, like on the cup and the arms and the spoon, and then finally creating a ground for the Froyo to sit on. For coloring in the strawberry and apple toppings, I'm just filling them in with vermilion and yellow green markers. And next, I'm going to add in sky blue, which is a little bit darker, to the base cup. And I'm using a line texture technique. Again, it's just to add a touch more dimension so that the cup pops out from the background and doesn't look too flat. So I want to continue to apply this line texture technique to the sides of the cup and the bottom, just to keep it looking interesting. And I'm going to add some to the sprinkles, and next to some purple for the blueberries, and the last details of the face with coral red and vermilion. And there you have it, the chibi frozen yogurt. It's definitely a dilemma of looking both cute and delicious at the same time. Until next time, I hope you keep creating and stay panderific. Bye!